This segment is sponsored by Par Lumber. Lumber out in Hillsboro with Tony Cookston of Par Lumber. Today we're talking a raised garden bed. Yeah. The sun is shining. It's time to get out in the garden. Talk about what you guys have here at Par. We offer lumber for several different types of beds. Uh, a cedar raised garden bed is um, pretty inexpensive, beautiful, and it has natural tannins in the wood that protect it from the weather. So it's a really good choice. Another choice is juniper beds, which are even more hardy. Juniper, I don't know if you know this, but grows in rocks with like no water. So it's very hardy lumber, very good for using for, for a raised garden bed outside. And then we also have um, a concrete bed, which is like concrete and wood fiber mixed together. It lasts for a really long time, but uh, it's kind of expensive. So there's options for inexpensive and there's options for lasting a really long time. Okay, so how much work do you have to put into a raised bed yourself? You come here to par, but what do you have to do yourself once you get at home? Well, once you get at home, you need to put it together. Um, it's not difficult to do. Four by fours in the corners, six screws in every corner, put a cap on top of it. You know, it does, it's not a home, so it's not, it doesn't have to be structurally sound. And then you've got to fill that up with some potting soil or some good soil, some fertilizer, and then you can start putting your plants in there. Okay, and when the sun comes out like this, you guys are flooded with people looking for garden stuff. Every hour, there's somebody back in here talking about, I need to plant my garden bed and I want to get it up out of the ground. You know, if you've got bad soil at home, clay or something like that, plants don't like to grow in that. So instead of tilling that up, like our parents would have done, um, you can just put a bed down, fill it with new dirt, plant it, and it's ready to go. Okay, give me the price uh, range on uh, one of these. This is a four foot by eight foot cedar bed. It's about $150. This is a four foot by eight foot juniper bed, and it's about $150. That's a four foot by eight foot, what they call green bed. It's concrete, lasts a long time, but it's about $350. Okay, but still an affordable way to get out in the garden if you don't have great gardening conditions in your yard. Absolutely. Tony, not only do you work at PAR, you also host a radio show. Tell me about this radio show. Yeah, Corey and I have a radio show on AM860 called The Weekend Warriors Home Improvement Show, and it's every Saturday morning from 10 to noon, and we talk about stuff just like this, how to build and plant a raised garden bed in your backyard or how to repair the siding on your house, all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Tony, Corey, thank you so much. For more information, log on to par.com.